Okay, and we haven't done a cage tour in a little while. Uh, so, I'm gonna be showing you the ferret cage today. You guys have not seen the mammal house here. If you go back, I've done previous tours of my ferret cage um, and also the entire animal house, but that was at my previous farm. And so here, I've been here a little over a year and I've not shown you any of that. Normally these videos take me a lot longer than I expect them to because I'm a perfectionist and also like I have a really big imagination. And so I constantly have like new ideas or things I want to change or do better or whatever. And so it just goes on for months and months and months, but I'm satisfied enough with the ferret cage at this point to show you that. If you're new here, I run a nonprofit rescue. Um, that is not what started this channel. In fact, it was kind of the other way around. I started this channel and just had a lot of animals that were adopted and rescued. Um, I just really loved animals. And then it kind of progressed to where we are now a few years later, bigger farm, more animals and officially a rescue. So having said all that, the ferrets you're going to see are all uh, surrendered. Ferrets are adorable and fun, but they are a lot of work. Just make sure you do your research. If you like the video, as always, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't so that you continue to see my animal content. Uh, it also helps support me and the sanctuary. Also, uh, be sure to like this video if you enjoy it and want to see more animal cage tours. Okay, I have about two minutes before somebody poops on the floor in here. So, so here we go. Some of you may recognize the windows, especially with the bunny decals from the pet house at my previous farm. These are awesome. The only thing I'll mention, because ferrets are tricksters, yep, we have to put this smooth plastic on the back um, because otherwise, like he's doing right now, um, they'll just use all of these little dividers to climb right out. So <laughs> that smooth surface on the inside makes it so they can't escape and it still looks really cute on the outside. So here are the AC unit. This is a climate controlled building. So we have tunnels everywhere um, and they actually utilize them, which is really fun. Entering into their space. Yep, look at that. They've already thrown balls all over the place. These were all in here when I started filming. So <laughs> I love, absolutely love ferrets. I always have. Um, I'm not opposed to even like doubling this space eventually uh, and taking in more. One of the common complaints with ferrets is their smell. And even though they are descented, yeah, their feces and urine definitely has an odor. So I'm in here cleaning every single day. This is a huge space. A lot of people use um, like ferret nations, critter nations, cages like that. I've never really been a fan, especially because I take in, yeah, uh, rescued ferrets. And so they're not litter box trained and those cages are just impossible to keep clean. <laughs> Even when you are hi, cleaning it all the time and letting them have free roam, which is absolutely essential. You cannot keep ferrets in cages. They need to be out every single day, hours a day. It's still just messy, messy. So the past several years, I've always created spaces like this instead and they utilize every single part of it so we have the ball pit they love this ball pit and it's probably the only area that they don't go to the bathroom well hello tunnels i want to put even more tunnels in here these were um actually purchased off the wish list i would love to have especially now that i know that they will use them um they run this one all day every day i would love to put like maybe coming up here, up and like around this whole space. And I don't know, anyways, um, they adore them. They sleep in them. Good baby, go potty over there. This, look at both of you. We're getting there. <laughs> They're still pretty new. Hopefully, and I've had good luck over time getting ferrets to use these potty pads. Everyone has a, you know, a different litter method. Um, potty pads for me is 100% been the way to go. Whoop. <laughs> a uh, water bowl this is actually i think it's supposed to be for like bananas um they sleep in this all the time and it's adorable this tree which was actually for cats uh so yeah it's got little cubbies it's got different platforms that tunnel is messed up right now 
here. Oh, there goes another one. <laughs> this, this is probably their favorite place to sleep, right in the center there. But then this is actually a tunnel that goes all the way around also. Wait, backtracking? You changed your mind? Come over here. Come on, buddy. We can do it. Come on, come on. Come say hi. Ah, one of these is a little biter though, so I have to watch because they're going after my feet. Hi. This is not connected to anything. Like even the outlet is not connected. This is nothing. There's nothing here. Um, I just haven't gotten a cover for it, but we made sure this is nothing. Hi. So it's not dangerous. So coming over here, this was another, I guess, cat tree. Um, when I originally got it, it was like covered in brown carpet and just sort of ugly. So I did an okay job covering it with this instead. It's so much fun for them. And then the food stations over there, um, they're because I have the new ones, um, I'm having to mix what they were eating, which is a cat food. But I typically like um, the Wysong foods. They have really great stuff. What are you doing? Some of these new ones need their nails trimmed. I mean, I'm talking like very new, like they've been here a couple days. <laughs> and they're going to the vet and getting checkups and getting their rabies vaccines. Huh? Yeah. That's you. Oop. We got a climber. That's sort of not the way I intended, but. Do you? I thought it would be fun to go like the other side. I thought it would be fun to come along here and then like crash land in the ball pit, but okay. Each their own. Sometimes I'll walk in here and it's just like a row of ferrets sleeping inside this tunnel. Are you happy? Happy ferrets. I want to get some little, um, I've seen like little cat toy, dog toy type things that they'll kind of run around with or whatever, toss a little bit. So if anyone has any recommendations for those kinds of like floor play toys, that their ferrets love um please let me know not that these guys are bored by any means but <laughs> i love to watch them i don't know about anybody else but i think it's just so entertaining i wonder how big it is i would say it's 10 feet by five feet maybe wait 12 feet 12 feet by five feet i don't know uh big but Maybe getting bigger as needed. Um, and this is also in the animal house, which you have not seen. We're gonna do part by part. So next you'll be seeing the sugar glider cage, which is 95% done. So stay tuned for that very soon. Let me know what you think of this enclosure.